This is Dr. Catherine Collins. I don't know if anyone will ever hear this. It's all over. I'm the only one left. I'm going to continue to broadcast for as long as I am able. If I'm right, we should be able to pick up the signal right across the valley. The event has left markers. We don't understand it yet, but we're going to keep working to try and understand it. You can use them to find what you're looking for. The answers, they're all here. The answers are in the light. This is a special announcement by the Emergency Measures Committee. Due to exceptional circumstances, radio and television in this area has been brought under the control of the EMC as per the Crisis Preparedness and Action Bill of 1982. Keep your radio and television on at all times. Stay indoors and avoid contact with other people. Do not attempt to telephone outside your local area. Do not panic and remain civil and calm. Stay tuned to this station for updates.
I'm trying to do my job. You two will be the only staff on site for this rotation. I'm just saying, if the main gate's power fails, then there's no way in or out of the observatory. That's why there are backup generators. Jesus, why the hell are we even discussing this? Just don't you come running to me if you get locked in. If we get locked in, we won't be able to come running to you, will we? You let us worry about the clever stuff, and you can concentrate on sweeping up leaves and changing light bulbs. Happy? Now piss off. Ah, so... That was unnecessary. Just because you're angry with me doesn't mean you have to take it out on everyone else. Kate, okay, can we just talk about this? No. Steven, I'm done. I just want to get out of this place, and tonight is our best chance of doing that. You prep the arrays, I'm heading up to Tower 6. Kate. I love you. You know that, right? Yeah, I know that. Come on, let's get started. Who's that? Hello? Kate, hey, if you can hear this, you need to shut down the optical array. It's using the observatory as a conduit to reach us, and it started spreading its range beyond the valley. Kate, we can't afford to let it do that. It's getting stronger. I'm going to call Clive back, and I'm going to force him to order the strike. I just don't see what other choice we have. God knows Clive, if can you hear me? We need help. Who are you? Jesus, get off the floor! Get off the floor! on yourself. We've all had rejections. 
You haven't. Oh, come on. We'll look at the figures, tighten up the data, and resubmit. Your core idea is sound. You just got the numbers slightly wrong. Don't patronize me. I'm not patronizing you. I think you are a brilliant man, Dr. Appleton. Listen. I'm here, right? We're together, you and me. The alignment event tomorrow. It's yours, okay? You saw the opportunity, you ran the numbers. Even if they can't see it. I'm proud of you. Is that supposed to make me feel better? See you then. Look on the bright side, I'm around here. <laughs> You're a hero. Prodigal son returns, right? <laughs> I'm surprised they haven't erected a statue in your honor yet. <laughs> oh, you can laugh all you want. But I'll bet the parish council have a subcommittee working on that right now. <laughs> <laughs> reminds me of high school, <laughs> seeing Mars for the first time, that same rush of excitement. <laughs> My hands are shaking. Extraordinary. The whole thing reminds me of high school, <laughs> seeing Mars for the first time, that same rush of excitement. <laughs> My hands are shaking.
keep looking, but it makes no sense. The area we picked the pattern up from can no longer be located on the scope. That's just not possible. You can see significant changes to the quality of the ambient light in that part of the sky. It's overexposed, like a Polaroid left in direct sunlight. You know, they uh, see me as an outsider here as well. Is that supposed to make me feel any better? Oh, I understand it's difficult. That's all I'm saying. Your lot up at Vallis have never mixed with the local community. People here, they don't really understand what you do up there. Are you trying to get me to come to your church? It's not just about faith. It's about the community. Be involved. Be seen as part of it. One of them. <laughs> Good morning, Father. Lovely day. Oh, hello. Um... Mrs. Appleton, isn't it? It's Dr. Collins. Lady scientist. Whatever next? Good morning, Barbara. Father Wheeler. You really think that's a community that will ever see me as one of them? I can live with them staring at me. If they just stay out of my way. Everything all right? Get out of my way. Where's Kate? Where do you think she is? Stephen, what's going on? Screw Kate. It's all her fault anyway. What's that mark on your face? Stephen! Stephen! Go away from me. Don't come near me. This is people's property. You're scaring them. It's all over the village. It's got into everything. It's so fast. What are you talking about? It's travelling down the wires. Dear God, man, you've lost your mind. Where is Kate? What have you done with her? Don't you understand? It's breaching the quarantine and adapting. Give me that bloody can. Hand it over, Appleton. No, get off. No, Sam, stop it. You weedy little shit. Give it's mine. Give me the can. Give me the can. Stop it. Grow up! Fuck. Oh, God, no. 
It's starting to manifest itself everywhere. Stephen, come back! Oh, Christ! Hello? Hello? Oh, Amanda, I thought you'd left town. We tried. We did try. But they've closed all the roads and you can't get through. And, and then Georgie and Ben said they had headaches. And then they started bleeding. And, but it was horrible. They were so scared. So Neil turned the car around and, um, and we saw the house was open and I know we shouldn't have, but we just came in to clean up the kids and, and then Neil and I started bleeding as well and it is all over my blouse. Everyone was so tired. It's all right, Amanda. Everything will be all right. Just try and calm down and tell me where Neil and the children are. They're upstairs. They were tired and Neil said they could take a nap in the bed and you know, I thought Barbara wouldn't mind as there were any children and, and I was so tired so Neil took them up, he took them upstairs to tuck them in. And? That was six hours ago. And then they came back down. It's been too far. Why don't we go and look together? I can hold your hand if you like. Yeah. yeah I think I could manage that, yes. Will you please help me? Of course I'll help you. Neil? Neil, are you there? <laughs> 